you want to move your analytics to the cloud, but data privacy rules and data sovereignty may be preventing you from doing so. Click has the solution. Clickforts is here. Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and today I'm pleased to announce the introduction of a brand new hybrid service only available from Click that runs on popular cloud platforms and securely extends our innovative ClickSense capabilities to wherever your data must reside. ClickForts. You know there are many benefits of SaaS. Lower costs, easy collaboration, the latest capabilities, maximum performance, and enterprise class reliability, to just name a few. But what if you can't move all your data to a SaaS analytics platform due to strict privacy and governance rules? Or what if you've already moved your data to the cloud and don't want to incur costs associated with moving it again? You need a solution that still provides all the advantages of SaaS, but doesn't require you to move your data. ClickForts is a highly scalable virtual appliance managed by Click, configured to run where your data resides, either on-premise or in a public or private cloud in any region. And it's designed to work with existing Click Cloud tenants. It can be deployed and managed from the ClickSense SaaS console and provides a seamless experience to your ClickSense users, who all have a single login through the Click Cloud Hub and consistent analytics experience, where the analytics are running in Click Cloud, Click Forts, or both. Let me give you a brief demonstration of how this works. Okay, to get started, I am logged in as a tenant admin into my default Click Cloud tenant instance. And I have a shared space here, and you can see by the color of this icon, this is the default shared space that comes with the normal Click Cloud tenant. And I have some apps in here as well. Now, I also have three different cloud platforms that are running the Click Fort service AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. So all you really need to know about this is that the ClickFort service has been set up as a virtual appliance in these platforms and that we have access to it via AIP address. And in this case here, you can see we'll look at our AWS instance and there's an IP address that we have. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the setup console for that IP address and then we're going to log in. And you're going to see it's prompting me for a bootstrap configuration, sort of the unique identifier. So now we're going to go back to my default Click Cloud tenant and we're going to navigate to the management console. And you'll notice that we have an entry under governance called forts and we're going to create a new fort. We're just going to give it a name. Call this one Toralo Fort. We're going to put in the URL the administration email and a description if you wish. So here I'll click create and you'll see now we have this particular information that we're going to copy and we're going to paste it to initialize the fort. And you're going to see it recognizes the tenant, the region, the URL, read and accept the terms and conditions and click install. Now this will take a few minutes to set up. Okay, the Fortress installation is now complete. We can click verify install. You have been authenticated with your fort. We go back and click next. And now we're at the fort console verifying the various services that are running. And that's it. So now at this time we can go back to our data analytics And then what you do is you set up a space in the catalog and you assign it to a fort. So we'll call this one Mike's Fort. And this one was in the region of Ireland because that's where my AWS was set up. And you can see from the list, there's the Torala Fort, provide a description and then click create. And now we have the fort set up 
which is indicative of like a space, but in this case, it's going to be navigating to the service that is running within that virtual appliance. And to prove that to you, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna upload a simple app. I'll just upload the visualization showcase. Okay, now that app is available within the sport. Now, what I'm gonna do is navigate to this space here, and just to show you one of the differences, when I click on this app, you can see that it still maintains the same URL reference in loading that particular app. And you can see here the early access EU clickstage.com. But if I go back and we navigate to the fort space that I set up and we click the ClickSense visualization and showcase, you can see that the IP address changes showing that is going to the appropriate region where my data and my apps are now stored within the fort. And then from this point, it functions just like a normal ClickSense app like you already know and love. In conclusion, as you have seen, Click supports your cloud strategy and choice. You decide where your data resides and where analytics workloads occur. Don't let your data needs be a barrier to SaaS. To learn more about ClickForts, check out our companion videos and visit click.com forward slash clickforts.